Hey folks, Darman Jude here, bringing you another episode of the Long Dark Gear Juice Delivery Challenge. Um, so, at the end of uh, the last episode, we managed to make our way down. Mouth so dry. Oops, let me drink some agua. Uh, we managed to make our way down from the top of Timberwolf Mountain after finding not one, but two emergency stems, bringing our total count up to seven. I'm going to do five, six, seven. Which is good, because I think I decided I was not going to uh, bother going to Black Rock anymore. Um, so let's look at a world map here. So we're over here in Timberwolf Mountain. We're not going to go to Black Rock. What we're going to end up doing is passing through uh, Pleasant Valley, because we found, you know, the stems there that we, like, we found two here. So that's fine. Um, so we're going to pass up the, uh, winding river and head to Mystery Lake. I'm debating on whether to go to the ravine or not. In the past, there was a stem in the bottom of the ravine, but I don't know if that's going to be worth my while to climb down there just to find out there isn't one. Um, I only need three more, and if I can find at least one in Mystery Lake, I'm pretty good. I might be able to find one in the dam if it's still there. I think there's one kind of at the top by the entrance uh, underneath one of the workbenches. So we'll hit that up and kind of just looking everywhere we can and hopefully we get there. Uh, the next stop would be Mountain Town. Um, there's at least one area. I think it's like Mackenzie's plane crash that it's good. Um, I don't see, I don't think there's one in the Forlorn unless it's maybe at the Spence's cabin, but I'm not so certain there is one at Forlorn Muskeg, um, or at least not consistent enough that I can think about it. Hush River Valley, as far as I know, has a bunch, but ugh, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to go all the way there. The, the Broken Railroad does have some, and it's kind of on our way, so I may hit up Mountain Town after hitting Mystery Lake. Um, what I'll end up doing is probably going through that cave system to Mountain Town without passing through the Muskeg, and then we'll come down and we'll hit up Broken Railroad and then on out to uh, the airfield. So that's our path, but as you can hear, we are in the middle of a, uh, well, okay, so it's windy, it's not that bad. Um, considering I have absolutely no idea what I have on me, um, it's kind of hard when you got like four games run at the same time, but, oh, I'm, I'm pretty good on um, my weight, so I guess if nothing else, I guess if nothing else, it's, um, we'll just see how cold it is out here. Eh, it's kind of cold, and that's okay. We'll deal with it. Ah, yes. Okay, so I do have a flare. I'm just trying to keep my my game straight. Uh, I hope there's not a moose up here. That would make this uh, a little more difficult, I think. I would probably have to end up shooting it with a flare, no doubt. So that's, uh... I'm gonna have to switch it out quick, too. Okay, just not. Usually it'd be, like, right here. Um, I don't even see the trees all torn up, so... Uh, that kind of tells me he may not be over here, which is which is fine. It is really windy. I wouldn't even want to have... I wouldn't be able to light a torch. We're making good progress. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of slow, but you know what? This is, this is kind of a fun challenge. Uh, if nothing else, it's it has taught me uh, some weight management uh, tricks, you know, like... We're, we're going to be moving quick. We're, you know, we're light on our feet. Uh, so we don't need to be picking up every little thing. Uh, so that whole sustainable survival is not a high priority. Yeah, sure, we need to... I heard something. Yeah, sure, we need to keep up with, like, our thirst and hunger and stuff. But, I, you know, we're, you know, the long-term survival stuff, nah, not, not so much. Uh, we don't need to set up bases because we are constantly moving. We are a nomad. We'll just head on out and um,
This is fine. Eh, it's midday. Well, not even midday yet. Mid morning. Let's see, I'm warming up already. A little bit. So our path is we're going to go past the farmhouse again, uh, go past the uh, Signal Hill, um, and out to the cave. Uh, we'll just make our way down kind of as we came up, just about. As best we can, anyway. May go by the, by the plane crash if... Because I don't think I picked up much food from there. So if anything, I'll stop there for... I'll stop there for lunch. <laughs> May not take anything with me because, uh, like I said, my, my weight is down enough that I'm, I'm in pretty good shape to move uh, without being too overburdened. Well, while I'm thinking about it, let me, uh... Oh, I don't even have any twigs, so let's, uh, let's do this really quick, because... You know, I've been passing by them, and I kind of need a handful. That should do fine. Okay. This should do fine. I just didn't want to have to light a fire, and all of a sudden all I have is a log. Yeah, you can light it on a log, but it's, uh, you know, it, I don't... I'd rather have a stick. It's a little higher gear. It's a yeah, it's a little better chance than trying to get it off a, a log straight up. Okay, back to the PV. And it's just as windy here, but I'm st still warming up. I think, I don't know if it's because um, the, w the wind's blocked by the rocks. Eh, it probably is. And once I get out in the open, yeah, well, yeah, once, <laughs> yeah, you can see it goes, starts going down once I'm exposed to the wind. That wind, I'll tell you what, it's something else. I think, well, I don't even have coffee. Okay, well. Now, I have heard of a way to go down this this climb, but you have to, like, go, and I'm not even going to do it, so, you know, do it at your own, at your own risk, but you just kind of have to go out that way and then down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not so, I'm not, no. I, I think I'll just climb down. There's no sense in getting this far, and then all of a sudden I fall in and... Well, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna be tired, but hey, look, a log. Nah, I'm good. Did I leave anything in the prepper's cache? See, I can't remember. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute since we've been here. So, let's, uh... Take a look. Oh, I dropped a crap ton of stuff here. It's all here. River oats, coal. Well, let's grab one of the coals, just for fun. Charcoal, cloth. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, whoops, let's uh. Stuff's in good condition, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but we were looking at food. I am getting hungry. Oh, pff, what am I talking about? I've got. I've got food. Jeez Louise. Alright, let's just head on out. No need to stop. Um, taking this path, I think we'll be going past Skeeter's Ridge. Uh, and I believe the... Well, maybe I won't hit the plane crash. I mean, I could. Let's see, because there's a hunter's blind, and really there's two paths. Off to the left, we'll go 
kind of to the lower part of this mountain pass. The, I mean, the plane crash is like up there. You know, straight ahead. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I want to... Well, I'm going to pull a gun out first, but I'm trying to think... Oh, man, this wind is a little brutal. I mean, I'm not... Freezing, freezing, but moving slow. Uh, okay, indecisive me. We'll go this way. Kind of hoping this wind stops soon. I mean, it's like a blizzard without the snow. And it's just really windy and it's kind of snowing, but I wonder if it's going to change to be a full blizzard. That looks like part of the plane. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this way is the plane. I mean, that path off to the right would have taken me up to a path that goes around. I don't think I can get past um, all of this to get to the stuff, the goodies. I mean, we're okay, like I said. We don't... I got a lot of food. I just want to make sure there's no predators. Um, I wonder if I want to hit up the basement. Oh no, this is just the... I just have to be mindful. I gotta listen for stuff. Cause these trees can be a little deceiving. There's crow feather. Oh, I didn't search him. Probably because I didn't come this way. Uh, we'll take it for a log. Why not? Yep. Take this food. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is there a basement here? Nope, I'm at the wrong place. That's not. Okay, so there's a wolf. We'll just have to. We'll just have to take him out. Yeah, Skeeter's Ridge. I was right. Okay. The the house, yeah, the basement is up there. Right beyond where those two wolves are. Uh, well, I know if I shoot one, the other one will run off. So whichever one comes at me first, which looks like this front one. And, oh, no, I'm sorry. Maybe it's right there. Yep, come here. I'm gonna aggro you. Come here. Come here. Well, shoot to kill at this point, because uh, he, uh... That guy was, uh... Still coming after one shot. Now, sometimes you can get them... Like, you shoot them once, and they like, kind of turn their head, and they're still, like, sprinting but they have stopped the attack, but I think if they're too close, it, it causes them to attack. Let's head down here for a moment. I mean, I could hang out down here for like an hour um, and see if it gets any better, but the same, on the same, mm, nah. I was looking for food, to be honest with you, so. Let's uh, actually put this away. <laughs> I don't need to have a gun out, for God's sake. Well, okay. That's fine. So, why don't we... I mean, it's in good shape, right? Yeah, so let's eat it. Before it goes bad. I'm kind of surprised it's at 100% conditioning. So, that's that's good. Fish is good. We'll take the Summit Soda. Probably won't take the canned stuff. Um, later. I mean... Do I have? I'd have a can opener, right? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, I do have a lot of food, so if anything, I'll take the dog food. I know. That's silly. Mm. <laughs> I'm only going to find clothes in these things. I don't know why I'm looking here. Yeah, see, it's, it's stupid stuff. So, I guess let's... Uh, well, keep on moving. Uh, we're warming up. It's not like we were getting that cold anyway, so... I think we were just trying to make sure that wolf didn't come running around, but there's a chance that I'll pop out here and it'll be, like, right in front of us. Huh. That little bit, just the wind dies. Good. Alright, perfect. 
That's what I like to see. And there used to be like a used to be a prepper's cache like over in there along the rock wall. If I recall. I don't ever I don't ever see it anymore, so I'm not sure if it's just not there anymore or if it's just rarely comes up or what, but I couldn't even tell you what was inside of it. And just nothing too special as far as I remember. Okay. Where is this wolf? Do I take the rifle? That's <laughs> eh, just a hunting rifle. I don't know where this wolf is. I mean, I'm gonna have to head down, but I... Hmm. I mean, it sounded like he was off to my left. I wonder if he was on over, up on the ridge. I just gotta be careful, because I don't want... It sounded like he was above me. Hmm, okay, we're all right. He must have been up on the ridge. I ain't worried. Now, the best place to go to get up might be over there. Trying to think, yeah, it's like it's easier to get down because you just kind of hop down. But I think to get up, we have to kind of go this away. Oh, sheesh! Oh, wait, there he is. Okay, now well, we're gonna ignore you for now, dude. Because, hmm, so I think once I, yeah, he's just gonna follow me. I could turn and shoot him, but you know what? I've got kind of bigger fish to fry. I think if I picked up that rifle, but you know what? If if I it, the problem with the rifle is that especially for a wolf, if you miss, you're you're gonna get attacked. At least with a pistol, I have a chance to get a couple more, like at least one more shot off. You know, before it jumps me, depending on, of course, you know how close it is. But mm, up this way, yes, yeah, because that road will. I mean, I could scare it and spook it off, but maybe if maybe I can maybe I can shake him. Maybe I can shake him. Ah, yeah, shoot! I just don't want him running after me. He's still coming. Okay, I don't see him. Maybe he's down the hill a little bit. Okay, we kind of need to head off. I wish I could see the tower from here. Unfortunately, it's so there is a road that kind of goes winding around, and I'm um, just trying to get my bearings on where exactly I am. I think I need to head this way because, like I said, I kind of want to pass by the house, and that's why I'm not gonna turn to face this guy because if I can just get into the house, then he'll he'll go back he'll go back to the place from whence he came, and then I won't have to worry about him. It is possible to lead him far enough that he loses interest. I, I've done it before in other regions where I just kept walking, and then I finally was like, "Oh, fine, I'm gonna turn and get you." And he just, it just didn't. I went to aim at it, and he didn't aggro. He just kind of wandered off. So it's kind of what I'm thinking of doing here, but. Yeah, see, like that. Like, I, it just kind of, yeah, see, he not really following me anymore, so. This is interest. Now, of course, if I were carrying fresh meat, then that would be a different story, but I think he just, yeah. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's fine. This is fine. Uh, I do have to be, okay, so there's the farmstead. There are 
wolves out there, as expected. There is a bear that wanders around out here too, so we have to watch for him. Uh, is that the bear or is that the wolf? That's a wolf, okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm looking for a bigger brown thing. I may not even stop. I may not even stop at this farmhouse. I really don't have a need to. I've got a lot of water, I've got a lot of supplies. Um, it's midday. I think, I think we're good. I can just head out past the farmhouse. We'll, uh... Now, I know there's probably a faster way to get there, but I'm just, I'm also keeping in mind the Predator's uh, patrol pass. Like, there's wolves out in the orchard there, so I try to avoid that. Because, yeah, I'll shoot a wolf if I need to, but, you know, it's the taking on one and then all of a sudden it's like as soon as you take on one then you got another one up your butt and then you got the next one on you and yeah i've run into that in uh coastal highway um by the quonset uh there's like four wolves that hang around quonset which is why i have kind of realized that you know if you're doing a full survival and you hit up coastal highway it's probably best not to set up a regional base at Quonset. Yeah, I know it's a great location. Um, you know, there's a lot of supplies there. There's the workbench. There's, you know, there's a bed and a, a fire barrel and all that. But there's a lot of stuff, a lot of wildlife that live around there. So you got the, at least on Stalker, you got, you know, four wolves. You have a bear. Uh, there's a moose that hangs around there too, and he comes up occasionally. So it's, you know, every time you go outside, you have to be careful. Whereas in that same region, um, I've kind of more or less been more inclined to set up base at the Jackrabbit Island. But here, the farmstead's good. Uh, farmstead is a pretty good place. Um, some people like the... Uh, community center in uh, Thompson's Crossing here. Uh, the only reason I don't is because of the bear and there's a couple wolves over there. At least here, there is a bear and a couple of wolves, but they're not near the farmhouse. Not like near enough where I'd step outside and be like, oh shoot, I have to run inside really quick. Okay. They are... Looking for our path to the side of the mountain, which is probably over this way. I think I'm sitting here thinking, and I think I am going to skip going to the ravine. I, I don't... I don't think it's a guarantee anymore, and I don't think... Climbing all the way down there just to find it's not there and climbing back up is worth it. When I only need three more, right? Which means I'm I'm really banking on at least finding one or two in Mystery Lake. And then one or two in uh, Broken Highway. Now, again, I'm also, also going to stop at uh, Mountain Town and climb up there and... Go to McKenzie's plane and see if I can't find one there. I'm pretty sure that's there's still one there. Like that that's always there. Uh, I don't think it's moved. I'm trying to think if there's any other place in that region that would uh, have it potentially. Mm, the Mother Goose's house or Grey Mother's house. I keep calling her Mother Goose or something like that. Grey Mother's house. Might. Uh, I don't think the credit union would. Uh, I don't think I've ever found one in the credit union. Uh, there's random houses. I have never found it at the Orca station. Uh, so it may just be at the crash site. Which is fine. Like I said, I only need three, so if I find one in Mystery Lake, one in Milton, and one in uh, the Broken Railroad, I'll be set. And then we'll make a beeline to the to the plane. 
because our, our meathead needs his, his gear juice. And time is running short before his competition, his strongman competition. There it is. I know, I'm giving those things a bad name, and that's not what they do at all. They actually work really hard, and I, I'm not going to lie. Like I've, I mean, they've seen those things, like, but seriously, it's like the kind of events where... You know, they're, they're just like weird competitions. I, I don't know. Maybe it was more or less a thing back in the early 2000s where they had like uh, strongman competitions and these dudes would be like pulling like full big rig semis or, you know, dragging big rig semis and, uh, you know, just weird stuff like that. And so uh, it's always making it's like, okay, the next competition is we're going to fill these three grand or these grand pianos with molten lead see how many you can hurl into that three-story building like <laughs> weird things like that yeah i i'm not so kudos to those dudes like for real it does take a, a lot of hard work mm, well, we stopped over there didn't we all right, let's pause a second and drink a soda or two. Probably drink an energy bar while we're at it. Energy bar while we are at it. Okay, let's uh, do that. That's a good replenisher. I, I like the energy bar. It's a, it's a nice quick snack, and it does give you quite a bit of energy. It's got a good calorie count. Getting closer. I think it's up here. Mm, yes. Uh, I just have to figure out if it's. I think it's around. I think it's this one. There's a path up, kind of. Hmm. No, that, that's that's not there. It's a little. Further over? Or am I... I'll know when I've gone too far. <laughs> or did I already? No, oh, it's right up there. Yeah, alright. I don't think I've ever seen a deer down here, though. Alright. Come on, man. You're not that tired. Jeez Louise. Come on. Yeah, I bear. There we go. Uh, yeah, here we go. Into uh, this cave. All right, light this up. All right, onward. It would be preferable if I, I guess it doesn't really matter when I hit the dam. Uh, kind of. Um, I mean, I don't want to be walking through it and all of a sudden I, um, uh, and Aurora hits, and then I get electrocuted. I really don't want to get electrocuted. This should be okay, though. For now. And we, we got some time. We got time. We're good. I ain't too worried. Uh, oops. Okay. Hmm, <clears throat> not that way. this way <laughs> yes 
Yeah, because there's a fire, there's a dude. Ah, hey, I just finished an energy bar too. What you got, man? You have nothing. Uh, that's a stone, okay. Yeah, I have to remember I haven't been through here, so... <laughs> I mean, I guess I can do some looting if I need to, but I've pretty much replenished what I've come across, so... I'm not terribly worried about it. Okay, good. Nah, I won't pick up the flare. Uh, this is a dead end, too. Oh my god, what am I doing? Well, let's look through this backpack. Thank goodness. Yeah, we'll take that. See, we'll punish what I picked up. All right, all right, all right. I can't keep all of these caves straight in my head. You know, some of them I know better than others, and some it's like, it, you know, I'm... Whatever. I mean, as long as I don't get too turned around. There is one cave, though, where it can... It circles back around... And that may have been it. And I think there was one time I just kept going around and around and around. <laughs> and I, 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 like, seriously, I, I was like, man, I've been here. I feel like I've been here before. I was. All right, let's put this out because we know we're going to keep on keeping on. All right. Now, like I said, there's a, uh, pretty sure there's a stem under a workbench in the dam. I really hope it's there. Like, and if it's not, we'll, we'll deal with it, but I'm, I'm really kind of hoping it is. Because uh, if it's not, then I'm going to hope it's at Trapper's Cabin. Might be the other place. I don't think I've ever seen one in the camp office. And the only other place that I could think of that it might possibly be might be in the Hunter's Blind. But on the other hand, I don't think I've ever seen one in the Hunter's Blind. So if nothing else, we'll hit up the camp office first. And then swing on around to the Trapper's Cabin before heading into the cave. Now, let's see where this wolf is up here. Hopefully he's further back and we don't run into him. I mean, if anything, he'll just... It'll be one of those, I'll ignore him and he can just follow me up. But we are going to hug this side, because I think when he's not down here, he kind of goes up that away. Unless, of course, he's right around the bend here, which would really suck. But I don't think he goes up that high. But we'll still be at the ready, just in case. Might have to shoot from the hip just to scare him. <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, I, yeah, instead of aiming at him, I think I could. I would just shoot from the hip at that point. That's okay. We're fine. He ain't coming up this far. Yeah, and then watch him be up here. Nah, they don't. I don't think he comes up this far. And there's the dam. You know, after passing through Ash Canyon and all the the rope bridges and how I I do get freaked out. I won't lie. And then knowing that I have to come across that that walking across the dam is nothing. <laughs> I remember that that used to freak me out. So I'm like, oh god, it's way up here and it's thin and I'm I could fall. Yeah, you could fall, but at least it doesn't sway. 
What have we here? All right, that'll be good in a pinch. A little further, okay. I also remember when I first started playing that I was so confused that I couldn't get in that door, and I'm like, how do I get back? Not knowing that I had to go uh, out this way and all the way over. Um, I do hate how it kicks me out, though. Like, that is one thing that I've noticed. I don't know if it's just uh, how I'm walking on this thing, or... Oh. I don't know if you guys are seeing that kind of glitchy graphic, but... Ah! Doesn't make me as nervous. Still makes me nervous, though. You know, heights and all. Okay. can always use more food. Eh, that'll work, I guess. All right, let's put this way because we won't need it in here. I will probably need the lantern, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll do some quick scrounging, I guess. Um, if anything... I probably won't take anything with me, but... Uh, no. We ba, 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 ba. nope. Eh. I don't have that kind of time. Whoops! Stop it. If I find coffee, then that'll be good. That's kind of what I'm looking for—is coffee. I'm pretty sure I'll need it before I get to Milton. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll stop at the trapper's cabin and uh, just stay there for the night. That way, I can do the climb fully refreshed. I don't need a bandage. Uh, I haven't been in that much peril. Uh, it looks like a grape juice or grape soda. I really don't want to hang around here too much longer, but if randomly there's a stem, then sweet. I think there's one other place in here that I might check, too. There is a, a first aid kit in... Well, it's, it's all in the upper part. This is gonna be closed. I don't want that. Nah, I'm I'm pretty good. I just need to dry out. I'll be hungry later. I don't have the pry bar, and that's okay. I dropped it for a reason. Because I wasn't gonna loot. I mean, nothing that I was gonna take with me anyway. So, besides, I uh, I know it's not even close to be a night, but this is completely impassable because these are all live. <laughs> And pretty much everything in this next room are live wires when the aurora happens. I know, because I've been killed in here. I fell asleep once on wires. <laughs> Could end up being useful. Like, if there's an argument for Groundhog Day uh, for this game, this is it. Because, I mean, if you play this game for any matter of time... You know, and you die, and you die, and you die. It's like, I've been stabbed, I've been burned, I've been, I've drowned, I've been attacked by animals. Like, <laughs> oh, first aid kit here, okay. Whoa! This. Nice! Well, there's number eight. Man, I'm glad I decided to look there. Sweet! Alright, so now we only need two more. And if I find it... Wow, okay. So we actually... Hmm. That does make me wonder. You know what, we're just gonna leave here then. Yeah, we don't even look at anything else. And there's gonna be a knife right here. Always remember that if nothing else, you can't find a knife. A hunting knife is always down here right there. I have never had the knife not spawn there. That's the only one, that's the only thing I can, oh, that's the only always that I, I, I know of. <laughs> I don't know any spawns, you know, guaranteed spawns, you know, with a, with a certainty. But that knife, I know, is there. <laughs> so if you guys take nothing else from, you know, anything that I, that I make, any, any of my videos, just know that you can get the knife down there. And speaking of learning, I have thought about doing like a full boom, uh, like a full tutorial for beginners. I know there's a lot out there and everybody has their own uh, perception on how to play this game. 
especially for beginners. Um, I've seen the I've seen approaches where you know it's like we're gonna tackle everything, and that's probably a good way to go. Um, so I I may or may not jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> oh wait, before I forget, because we are at this next one. Are we gonna find one in here? Nah, but we'll take the bandage anyway. So the other one would have been down here. Okay, so it's not there, which tells me that we still found one here in the dam. It just wasn't where I thought it was, or I should say it wasn't where I would usually find it. It literally would have been down there. So um, we'll we'll crawl around and make sure because it could be this kind of kind of sneaky, sneaky, sneaky down in here, but it doesn't look like it's there. So I don't think it's going to be anywhere else. How am I doing on water? Two, four. I mean, I could grab some toilet water and make it three. Let's take all that. That looks pretty good. The amount, not toilet water. <laughs> not the fact that it's toilet water. Ew. Okay. All right. Well, that that was a good that was a good haul. So let's um, douse this. Oh, and relatively bright. Whoa. And let's pull let's pull my gun. And we will head to the office camp. Because I need to get at least one. I need to get at least another one here. Hmm. Um, that does make me wonder if I want to try to. If I want to look in these trailers while I'm at it. Uh, I don't know if there's any. I don't know if I've ever found a stem in either of these trailers, but we'll take a look anyway. They're right here. It's not going to hurt. Uh, there it is. Nope. I think I can nope. Use this. We'll leave that. Okay, nope, 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 nope. All right, fair enough. I just wanted to make sure that it was not going to be something. Now, I don't know if there's a one in the other. Nah, we're just going to leave. Uh, and it's getting a little darker, so maybe I'll only be able to make it to the camp office. Hmm. Is there one in here? Uh, I actually didn't think there was. Okay. We'll just do a quick look over. Um. Yeah, we're not going to find it in, in any of those bins. And we're, huh. wonder if the owner's around. Nah, we'll leave that. But yeah, it's like the bins and certain you know, lockers, you're not going to find a stem. Usually it's going to be out in the open. It might be in a backpack. Uh, let's see, camp office. I think we might take the... I mean, I could take this path down. I mean, either way. Mm. You know what? We're we're gonna go. We're gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna take this path. Um, yes, we are. No, we're not. There's a. Isn't there a bear that wanders down there? I'm trying to think if there's a bear down that way. Um. I mean, there is a bear up this way, but I don't know if it's. Oh, I can't climb this? Okay, well, shoot. I have to go around. Okay. We're just trying to get to the camp office, and it's not like I can go straight through. That's okay. We're all right. I mean, yeah, we're fine. It's getting towards dusk, but, yeah, like I said, by the time we hit the camp office, we'll be ready to hunker down for the night, I think. I honestly don't think I'm going to find a stem there, but... Can't hurt to look. Mm. 
Mm. I wonder if I want to head up the caboose. Well, okay, it's a train car. I don't even know if it's a, <laughs> a caboose. It might be. It's a train car. We'll just go with that. Sheesh. Uh, the other option hmm, is the uh, lookout tower. I don't know if I've ever found one there either. So just to save myself the time, maybe I won't. I think the only reason I might consider it would be if I don't find a stem in either the camp office or Trapper's Cabin. That might be the only time I would consider it. And the wind's picking up, and the snow's picking up, and I'm kind of not digging this. So maybe I hit the camp office and call that. Call it a day and sleep the night. On the other hand... Hmm... Well... I could do this when I so I could go to the camp office there the other night and then in the morning get up and head to the lookout and then you know whatever the case may be if there is or isn't one come back down and head to Trapper's cabin it's kind of on the way as long as I don't get lost on the way I shouldn't but <laughs> we know me I think I know where I'm going and I'm I feel like I'm going in the right direction only to find that I'm not but I still managed to find my way. Like I said, I don't proclaim to be an expert. I just know enough to, you know, I, I'd say I'm a, a veteran, but I'm not, I'm, I'm no master, no master by any means. Okay, wolf number one. There should be another wolf over there too. Yeah, we're just gonna have, yep, they're right there. So we'll probably have to deal with them both. Maybe. Maybe I can avoid him. We'll see. Well, one of them looks like he's unavoidable since he's still coming. But that other one. Now, yeah, see. Yeah. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to deal with you, my friend. Okay, well, he's gonna go bleed out. That guy's gonna go running until he decides he doesn't want to run anymore. And hopefully, it's just not. Whoa. Oh, you. Okay, it is him. Wow, he did decide to stop. Well, that was quick. Well, I'm gonna have to shoot you, so just come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yep. Cool. Not that it really matters, I mean... <laughs> Okay, since we got those two, we'll, we'll check out in here. I don't know if I've ever found a stem in here, but, I mean, it's... Yeah, man, there's two flares laying around. Yeah, we'll take the box of ammo, that's for sure. That's all that's in here? Sometimes, man, there are times where there's a lot of good stuff, and then there are times where, like that, it's just kind of a couple of flares laying outside the car, and then a box of ammo, or... Like a head wrap or something where you're like, what? <laughs> what is this garbage? <laughs> Didn't give me anything. Yeah, I think I'll go. I'll do what I was saying. Uh, stay at the camp off for the night and then in the morning cut over to the lookout tower. Uh, reason is, is that if I kept going down the railroad tracks toward the Fort Lone Muskeg and then took a right, yeah, I would hit the trapper's cabin, but there's a couple wolves down that way and I'm... Um, I don't want to deal with those. I mean, alternatively, there's a bear going my way, but hey, that's why I have a flare gun, right? I think I've got like eight or nine rounds, or seven, seven or eight rounds. So we're still okay. And obviously, I'm getting super, a little, a lot more tired. I'm in the red there. That's okay. We're we're almost there. Actually, I may just end up running here. Just to wear myself out. I'm feeling so drained. Yep. And there it is. And there's always a deer here. They'll be running around. 
as soon as he spots me. Man, if I had a rifle, pow. It's dusk, so the night can't be far behind. Okay. And we'll put that away. Yep, we will stop and eat once we get inside here. But first, we have to uh, look for things. Now, there are also lake cabins out there, but I don't think there's anything uh, out there anyway. N nothing like a stem, as far as I know. Uh, no, I don't think so. Whoa, it's a little darker in here than I anticipated. Okay, so, Bess. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay, so, not there. See, I don't think I've ever found, like I said, I don't think I've ever found a stem in here. Uh, usually that cabinet only has... I always pick up that skill. <laughs> Whether I use it or not, I still pick it up. Uh, do I have a pot? Hold on a second. I don't think I have a pot. But I think it's okay, because I usually just... I've got a lot of water, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, well, let's... Uh, oh, let's eat this airline food. I guess I did pay, take some, didn't I? I really am not carrying a whole lot, which is kind of good for me. Ah, let's eat this and... It'll fill me tummy. Uh, and why don't we just top off the water here? We'll go upstairs, look for things, but I think we're gonna basically go to sleep. Um, I'm positive I'm not gonna find... I don't think I've ever even seen a stem in here, so... This is just a place to stop for the night. More or less. I mean, if we got lucky enough, Thanks. sure, but... Um, you know what? Let's, uh... Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> um, okay. There's that stuff. Spray paint. Snow storm lantern. So don't need... I'm gonna say we don't even need to go through this stuff. Let's just turn off the light and go to sleep. Yep, yep, yep. We'll sleep for 12 hours here. Sleep! And we'll wake up super thirsty. But it's daylight, which is nice. Break a soda, and then we'll top it off with water. Actually, we'll drink a couple of sodas, I think, actually. Now... If you didn't know already, you can't get sick. You cannot get sick off of uh, soda with low condition. Um, not like you can with food. So I don't even know what it means. If you know what that means, I mean, I, is it like it replenishes your thirst less? That may be it. Okay, we're heading up there. If you can see it, the uh, lookout tower. And the snow is picking up. Which, uh, <laughs> has me thinking that it might start blizzarding on me. Blizzarding? Blizzarding? Is that a word? Might get caught in a blizzard. Sure, if we're gonna be proper. Nah, it's gonna be blizzardy on me. Got the heavy snow, we're just missing the wind. That's okay. I mean, I'm in remarkable health considering. Okay, so when we come back down, basically our path is gonna head down that way uh, to the trapper's cabin. But first, mm, 
Now, if I do find... Let's see, I'm at eight now. So if I find one more, and then... So that's kind of what I'm banking on. I'm banking on finding a, a stem in this region. And then that way, you know, I'll go to, I'll go to Mountain Town and get that one because I know it's there. Uh, but if it's not here, then we'll still go to Mountain Town, but then we'll have to search the uh, maintenance shed and Broken Railroad, which is, you know, on our way out to the airfield anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, if I get all 10 of them, then, well, um, head straight to the airfield. Oop, get off that. All right, let's put this away. I don't need to accidentally shoot it. Hard to tell if this is going to, uh... Now, here's something that I have to look at really quick while we're up here. Oh, that's the burnout one. Um... One of the updates, and it, and it wasn't a, a real recent one, uh... Threw in possible spawns of, like, helicopter crashes and stuff, and there's one in this region, and it's, like... And I've never been able to find it in here. Maybe um, maybe on my longer run or my my full run, I'll go looking for it. But like there are certain like there's uh like helicopter crashes that you that are good for loot and you can kind of camp out there for a bit and you know good stuff. Like I think there's one in the forlorn muskeg. There's one here, but they they're like possible spawns. They don't spawn all the time. Which is kind of cool. I mean, I like that aspect. It's just random helicopter crashes that have some good loot in it, but I haven't been able to find any yet. No, oh, that's Canadian flag. I'm like, was that it? No. <laughs> no. It's Canadian flag. Settle down. Alright, like I said, I don't have much uh, hope that I'm going to find one in here, because I never have. But we'll take the flare ammo, I guess. Hey, look, another skill on the floor. That's going to be my M.O. from now on. I have been here. Here's why. The skillet is on. What have we here? Okay, so I have never found one up here. <laughs> I have never found one up here. So now we're up to nine. Um, I, I mean, I'm thrilled. Do I... Hmm kind of not liking how this weather's looking, but uh, we might be okay. I mean, do I go to Trapper's Cabin now? Sure. Why we not? Because if I find that last one here in Trapper's Cabin, then guess what? I don't have to go to Mountain Town. I'll just head on out to the airfield and we'll just have to... That'll be the end of that. Uh-oh, and it's starting to pick up. Of course it's starting to pick up. Hmm. Yeah, no, that was a first for me. I have never found a stem. Ah, uh, nope, let's just keep walking. I'm not gonna cope my way down. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad we came up here, obviously. There are just certain landmarks that are... Like, the possibility is higher to find the things you need. Uh, you know, the the more... Uh, the, the better loot, if you will. Like, you know, not just... Yeah, we're gonna... We're probably gonna hurt myself here, but I don't care. <laughs> Nope, we're good. Okay, let's pull out my gun again. Mmm, wind is picking up. Good news is I can still move. There's a wolf over there. Yeah, 
there's two wolves over there. We're at the uh, Dead Man's Fall or Dead Man. Dead Man's Fall? Yeah, that's over here. I think it's off to the left. But let's see if we can keep right and avoid these guys. Something tells me no. I mean, kind of. Yep, see? I mean, I yeah, see there he is. Come here. Well, he's running at me, so I'm gonna... Because he's gonna stop and he's gonna turn around and he's gonna see me. So let's kind of back it up and walk this way. We'll just walk away from the direction he's going. Because he'll stop and he'll turn around. Uh, eventually. That's okay. Reload. It's just that... It's just good to have a full... Full chambers. Is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's go around this side of this rock. Or we'll just climb over it. Okay. I might be going a kind of a long way to where I need to go. I mean, I'm I'm making my way. There will be something eventually that I see that I recognize that. Um, honestly, it's like I, as long as I don't hit the unnamed pond, I really don't want to go that way. That's a little too f out of my way. Um, I mean, if I see Max's last stand, which looks like I might be coming up on it. Maybe. Oh, no, this is... <laughs> there it is. Dead, dead, deadfall area. That's what this is called. It's a deadfall area. Which means... Max's last stand is over that away. So I kind of need to head this away. Ish. Um... Well, let's just, we'll go through here. Um, <laughs> this area kind of gets me a little lost. A little bit. Mm. Now, that looks like train cars, so, oh, yeah, okay, so we're... Yeah, okay, so <laughs> we're going to pass by the cave to Milton before we actually get to Trapper's Cabin, but this, we're, we're fine this way. Um, there's, like, no predators. Down this way, so we're okay. I thought I'd be protected from the wind on this side, considering it is blowing from my right. But... I Apparently not. Oh, see, it kind of is. Not that it, no, actually it doesn't really matter though, because I'm still, still nice and toasty. Let's just stay down here on the footpath. Okay, it's down there. We're fine. 
No bear. Yeah, see, I think a blizzard's rolling in. I was really hoping for some coffee. Wait, did I find... I found some, right? No. No, I didn't find any. Okay, so there's the trapper's cabin. And no moose. Sometimes there is a moose that will spawn down there. Oh, there we go. But, uh, doesn't look like it today. So that's good. And no bear, so that's no go too. So come on, let's get there. I don't know, wind blowing in my face and all. Yep, okay, yep, blizzard, <laughs> blizzard rolling in. All right, well, we'll have to hunker down here for a little while. All right, so first thing is, we'll look here. Could nope. end up being you. Ah, dang, okay, so <laughs> we are uh, we're still at nine. That's okay, that's okay. I was just astonished that we found the one that we did. So we'll still look in here just in case, but uh, usually if it was going to be anywhere, it's going to be in that cabinet. Hey, coffee. Sweet. We'll hang on to that because um, we'll need it. Uh, let's just open this up. Why not? Whenever I'm doing these, I always end up with, like, the stupid long combinations. Like this one, for example. Okay. 48. Why should be 49? <laughs> oh! <sighs> okay. 48 and what looks like 25. Okay, so I gotta go all the way around. All right. Forty-eight, twenty-five, and forty-one. Okay, that works. Probably not gonna be much in here. We could use this ammo. Well. All right. Well, let's take some stock really quick. What I got. Um, coffee. I need to make some. So that means I need to build a fire here. Now let's use a fire striker on this puppy. And since I'm... Well, in that case, let's just use a log, right? Why not? I should have a chunk of coal and fire... Or fur... This will be fine. Uh, let's do... I have one can. Odd. But okay. Oh, I've got a bunch of coffee. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, was there... Was there any food that I had that was in a can that I can eat that I can use now? Like the dog food. <laughs> I didn't realize I only had one can. Otherwise, I probably would have taken that pot with me, but, uh, th this is fine. Okay. Yep, place that next can. Cook, and... Probably don't even. See, I've got the herbal tea and I've got the birch bark tea, which I I really didn't need. But I think what I'll end up doing here is maybe let's pick that up. <laughs> I 
Yeah, let's pick that up too. Um, you know what? Why don't we put the herbal tea on? And we'll drink it. And we'll take a nap for about an hour. Um, but I need, need to wait for the storm to pass, so I think this might be a good place to put a cut in. Um, I'll take a nap, um, and then when we come back, well, we'll head out to Milton. Uh, and then after that, the airfield. So, uh, yeah, that'll be that for that. All right, folks, thanks for joining me on this one. Hit that like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you all on the next episode of Gear Juice Delivery. Adios.